When we hear subway system, we might think of New York City and London's too, right? Well, how about Cincinnati's lost transit tunnels? Janelle Walton shows us what's down under around town. Just beneath the hustle and bustle of where downtown meets over the Rhine is a story that takes us underground. Entrance to the subway tunnel. But I, I drive this every day and I never think about it. Subway historian John Luganbill opens the door to a part of Cincinnati's history that was buried long ago under Central Parkway. There are many who have no idea they're driving right on top of a subway that stretches two miles underground. It begins at Walnut Street and snakes along Central Parkway before coming to a stop above ground just past the Western Hills Viaduct. It was abandoned in about 1928 uh, due to politics and the ever-present lack of money. Cincinnati Museum Center volunteer Janice Forte says each time she takes a tour down into the tunnel, she gets excited about what could have been. You're now on the Ray Street platform and you would have purchased your ticket either to go to work or go home out in the suburbs. There are some who have seen it but decided to skip the tour. Jay Duckworth says he and some friends snuck inside. Oh, it was dark, you know, like we had like one little flashlight. Oh, it's a big old tunnel. Historians say they stopped construction around 1928 and over the years they've tried to come up with different ways to put the subway system to use. So far, nothing has panned out, but the ideas keep coming. Another UC student thought, thought we should just put an uh, underground roller coaster all the way through it. All the other big cities, you know, they have systems, and Cincinnati should too. It would be nice for someone that, that does live outside of the downtown area that can come downtown easily. John says he would love to see the subway trains on the tracks, but believes the city is willing to leave this part of his past in the dark. For The List, I'm Janelle Walton.